Ubuntu 24.10, codename Oracle Orion. It's the latest version of the popular Ubuntu operating system. It's set to be released in its final form on October 10, 2024, but you can already try out the public beta version to get a sneak peek at all the new features and improvements. For those unfamiliar with Ubuntu, it's one of the most widely used Linux distributions known for being user-friendly, stable and a great choice for anyone looking for a free and open source operating system. Each version of Ubuntu gets better with new features and improvements, and 24.10 is no exception. This version promises to deliver exciting updates in terms of desktop experience, hardware support and performance improvements, making it appealing not only to developers but also to regular users. So, what makes Ubuntu 24.10 special? Let's break it down. Ubuntu 24.10 comes with the GNOME 47 desktop environment. If you're wondering what that means, think of it as the look and feel of your desktop, the windows, icons and overall layout you interact with every day. GNOME is one of the most popular desktop environments for Linux, known for being sleek, modern and simple to use. The GNOME 47 update brings a lot of improvements that make the desktop smoother and faster. The animations you see when you open or close windows are now more polished and everything feels more responsive. If you're used to GNOME in previous Ubuntu versions, you'll definitely notice that GNOME 47 feels like an upgrade. It's not just about looks either. There are under the hood changes that make the system more stable and efficient. At the core of Ubuntu 24.10 is the Linux 6.11 kernel. The kernel is like the heart of the operating system connecting the software to your computer's hardware. The newer the kernel, the better it can handle new devices and technologies. Kernel 6.11 brings improvements for performance and hardware support. For example, if you have a brand new computer or the latest laptop, this version will likely have better compatibility with your hardware, making things like sound, Wi-Fi and graphics work seamlessly. This update is particularly exciting for people with cutting-edge hardware or those who want the latest drivers for their machines. One of the biggest changes in Ubuntu 24.10 affects users who have NVIDIA graphics cards. In previous versions, people using these graphics cards often defaulted to Zorg, an older graphics system. Now Ubuntu 24.10 switches to Wayland by default for NVIDIA users. Wayland is a modern display server that's designed to be faster and more secure. It allows smoother graphics rendering and can make your computer feel more responsive, especially during gaming, video editing or working with 3D applications. In the past there were some compatibility issues with NVIDIA and Wayland, but now those have been largely ironed out, making this a great change for anyone using NVIDIA hardware. For developers, Ubuntu 24.10 offers an updated toolchain, essentially the set of programming tools you need to build software. These updates include GCC 14.2, the GNU compiler collection which helps turn the code you write into a program your computer can run. LLVM 19, another collection of programming tools used to build software. Rust 1.18, a modern programming language that's becoming increasingly popular for its speed and safety features. Go 1.23, another programming language that's great for building fast, efficient software. These tools help developers work faster and with better support for new programming languages and frameworks. Beyond the big headline-grabbing updates, Ubuntu 24.10 comes packed with smaller but still important changes that improve how you use your computer every day. Ubuntu 24.10 introduces an updated desktop installer that makes it easier to set up your computer the way you want it. One standout feature is the ability to use local file paths for auto-installing ports. This sounds technical, but it means that if you're setting up Ubuntu on multiple computers or want to customize installation, you can use local files to automate the process. This is a time saver for anyone who manages multiple systems or likes to tweak their installation settings. If you have a computer with an AMD processor, this update is especially for you. Ubuntu 24.10 has an optimized power profile manager that supports the latest AMD hardware. What does that mean for you? Essentially, it helps your computer manage its power more efficiently. You'll see longer battery life on laptops, and your system will be able to switch between high performance and low power mode more intelligently. This is great for anyone who uses their laptops on the go and wants to maximize battery life without sacrificing too much performance. Fingerprint readers are becoming more common on laptops and even some desktops. 
Ubuntu 24.10 enhances its support for these devices, making it easier to log in with your fingerprint. If your device has a fingerprint reader, you can set it up during installation or after, and it should work smoothly with the latest drivers and updates. Security is always a top priority for Ubuntu, and 24.10 comes with a brand new feature called the Security Center. This tool helps you manage your system security settings in a more user-friendly way. One interesting feature in the Security Center is the ability to enable or disable experimental permissions for the home directory. This means you can control how apps and programs access your files, adding an extra layer of security. For example, you could limit what certain apps can do with your personal files, helping to keep your data safe from any malicious activity. Ubuntu 24.10 also comes with an improved App Center. The App Center is where you can find and install software for your system. It's similar to the App Store on macOS or Google Play on Android. The updated version has enhancements that make it easier to manage your installed software, get updates and find new apps. The design is cleaner and the performance is faster, so you'll spend less time waiting for apps to install or update. Finally, Ubuntu 24.10 includes various patches for Matter and GNOME Shell. These are the core components that manage how Windows behave on your desktop. The patches focus on improving stability, reducing crashes and boosting performance. If you ever had a Windows freeze or had your system slow down when multitasking, these patches will make your system feel more reliable and steppier overall. If you're eager to try out Ubuntu 24.10 before its official release, the public beta is available now. However, keep in mind that this is a pre-released version meaning it's still being tested and may have some bugs. It's not recommended for use on production systems, but it's perfect if you want to get a feel for the new features and provide feedback to the developers. You can download the beta version for different editions including the Ubuntu desktop, server and cloud editions. There are also versions for different desktop environments such as Kubuntu, Subuntu, Ubuntu Budgie and more. Each edition offers its unique take on Ubuntu so you can pick the one that best suits your needs. Overall, Ubuntu 24.10 Oracle Oreo is shaping up to be an exciting release, packed with features and improvements that make it faster, more secure and easier to use. Whether you're a developer, a gamer or just someone looking for a stable and modern operating system, there's something in Ubuntu 24.10 for everyone. From the latest GNOME 47 desktop to better support for AMD processors and NVIDIA graphics, this release is all about enhancing the user experience. If you're ready to explore what's new, give the beta a try, but remember to expect a few bugs along the way. The final version, coming in October 2024, promises to deliver a polished, stable version that will make using your computer smoother and more enjoyable than ever. And as always, if you find this video useful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.